the Suzuki Vitara is like the small town kid who's moved to the big city and is never looking back. Hmm, that sounds like my story. The Vitara has made a comeback since its 1998 hiatus and while it may have arrived late to the compact SUV party, it hasn't come quietly. While the top spec STX has full drive capabilities, putting it ahead of some of its competitors, its space over spare confirms its city car reputation. It's like the urban camper, made for those who love the metropolitan lifestyle, but don't mind spending their weekends on the rutted out tracks. The Vitara's standout features come in the form of its standard features. Sat-nav, touch screen, Bluetooth, LED lights, reverse camera, cruise control and the handy speed limiter are standard at all levels. Calculating in at a decent price, this Suzuki is playing the value game. There's a lot to love about the Vitara. Aside from being one of the quietest cabins in its class, it also boasts comfort, value, economy, decent steering control and space. The 375 litre boot is large enough to fit a couple of suitcases and there's plenty of nooks and crannies to store other items. But it's not all good news. The new Suzuki could do with a bit more torque and occasionally it's a bit hesitant on the accelerator in the automatic. The analogue speedo is a bit archaic and the absence of driver assist technology is surprising. With emergency braking fast becoming a standard, it's perplexing as to why Suzuki has left it off this new model. So who will we see driving the Suzuki Vitara? Young couples looking to start a family or those who want a bit more space and off-road capabilities are likely to enjoy this car. 